What's up, YouTube? Rapid fire review on this clipper right here. This is the nine millimeter by Caliber. This has been my go-to clipper for the past almost three weeks. And overall, you know, I've, I have been loving this clipper. This has been the only machine I have been using for almost three weeks now. And it's because its performance is really good. I'm, I'm honestly not let down by this clipper at all. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick 360 look. We also have a uh, click lever right here. It's a little dirty, I've been using it. It's got decent sound. It's not the quietest, but man, this thing is powerful. All right, here's the box. You guys can pause this and read all the specs if you want. I'm gonna tell you something though. The battery life on this is nothing to play with. If you guys have seen my other caliber reviews, um, you will know that Caliber has the best battery life in pretty much the entire barber industry. You get four hours of battery life and the power is consistent the entire four hours through. Unlike right here, I have the wall uh, senior. This machine has poor battery life with only like 70 minutes. It does have like a like a hundred minutes with this upgraded battery right here. But you know, you start off at high power and then it dies down to something weaker. The nine millimeter does not do that. It maintains high performance, high power the entire time through. And uh, honestly, it lasts me like two full days in the barbershop without plugging it in at all whatsoever. All right, we're gonna keep looking at this box for a minute. You guys can pause it all if you want. It says it has a Japanese uh, Machubi, oh no, <laughs> Machubi, Mabuchi DC motor. Uh, also, you know, the premium, you know, battery right there. Japanese diamond-like coated blades. This is the information in the back right here. You guys can pause the video and read all these specs right here. Now, I wanna get a disclaimer out the way, okay? Just because another clipper might have a higher RPM does not mean that it is more powerful, okay? RPMs is just the speed at which the blade moves, but it doesn't represent the power that it can maintain the entire time, okay? It's good to have high RPMs. As a matter of fact, this clipper right here, this is the 44 Magnum FMJ. This clipper right here has a noticeably higher RPM. The blades move faster, but this machine feels more powerful. It, it sounds more powerful, it feels more powerful. It, it feels like it's balding through hair better. I do like this clipper a lot. I mean, it, it has a very premium feel. It tells you exactly how much battery it get. it has. Um, this is again, this is the 44 Magnum FMJ. You guys can check out my review on this clipper. I have it here for comparison purposes. Also, the uh, the senior here is gonna be a, for a good comparison. And then I also have the 50 cal, which is also by Caliber. So this is, we're just gonna do a quick comparison later on. Uh, here's all the information right here. If you guys wanna keep reading through that, you can pause the video. Um, you get a few accessories with it. You get a very, very long, very long, 10 foot cable. It's 10 feet long, okay? I've, I've verified it. Just believe me, yeah, it's 10 feet. It's very freaking long. I consider that to be a professional length. This is a professional length cable. This is a, a an extra station I have set up. And yeah, if I have it plugged in right here or even further back down there, I can walk like, I can walk like on the far side of the client. You can't do that with the cable that's provided to you by the seniors or any wall clipper. The wall clippers only give you like a six or maybe, I don't know, seven foot cable and it just doesn't feel long enough. So you get a, a 10 foot lightweight cable and I do like that it's lightweight. It's definitely thinner than the cable that wall provides you because that lightweight 
you know, it, it doesn't feel like I'm pulling on a, on a cord as much as when the wall senior is plugged in. You also get a charging box for this giant cable right here. Of course, you get the basic little, you know, whatever. And then something else I really like that I have not used at all, it comes with an extra blade, an extra cutting blade. So that's good, you know, just to maintain that, uh, that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> the efficiency of your clipper. There we go. You know, it's just to maintain, you know, how efficient your clipper is. You know, I really don't know any other company that gives you another cutting blade. So it's good. I really do like that uh, Caliber is giving us just an extra, you know, blade. I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost them that much. So I do like the consideration that they're giving us an extra cutting blade. Let's talk about these guards real quick. These are magnetic guards. You get the half clip, the one, the two, the three, and the four. At first I was confused. I was like, why would they give me a one and a two and not a one and a half? Trust me, tr trust me, trust me, okay? You don't need the one and a half with this machine. You don't need it at all. It's not necessary. You don't need the one and a half. With this machine, you are going to skip the one and a half clip. You will easily be able to fade from the one open into the number two. So with this machine, I'm, I'm saving time. I feel like this machine cuts like butter and I'm skipping a step, allowing me to cut hair faster. I'm noticing it. I'm noticing it. My clients are noticing it. I, I'm like, yo, I feel like I'll, I'll do a haircut and I'll feel like, man, I feel like I flew through your haircut and I'm done like in 10 minutes, which I normally, I'll take like 20 minutes on a haircut on a bald fade or something. So yeah, I'm, I'm weirdly enough, I didn't really like these magnetic guards at first, but I thought, you know what? I'll give them a shot. I got them. It came with these magnetic guards. I'll try it. And now that I got them, I can't stop using it. The only time I ever use the premium guards that I came out with are whenever they want a five, a six, a seven, or an eight, you know? But apart from that, these magnetic guards are very, very nice. They're magnetic. They're gonna stick on. I can't put it on properly with one hand. I'll try real quick. Bam. They stick on real easy and they never, they never feel like they'll budge off. Okay, I, I have to try and take it off. So yeah. Uh, good feeling magnetic guards, okay? All right, let's do a quick sound comparison. Uh, we're gonna do the senior first because this is a clipper that most people are familiar with. This is uh, also uh, similar to the Magic Clip. If anyone else out there has a Magic Clip, the wall cordless senior has one. This is a custom lid and a upgraded battery. But even with the upgraded battery, this machine cannot catch up to the nine millimeter or the 44 FMJ, okay? Even even the 50 cal. The 50 cal is probably the weakest of the bunch up here. Uh, but, it, but it has consistent power. Wall doesn't do that. Wall gives you 100% power. I mean, wall will give you 100% power when it has 100% battery, but as you use the battery, you lose power quickly. Um, and all caliber machines maintain a uh, high power throughout all of its battery life. I hope I explained that good enough. So let's do a quick sound test. The Senior is a good machine. It's not bad, okay? It's a good machine. The only thing I don't like is its battery. It's, it's just very bad. Let's turn on the nine millimeter. It sounds more powerful. And I'll tell you from my personal experience, it is more powerful. So you have much longer battery life. Its battery life runs way more efficiently because its power is being able to be distributed, uh, distributed, I said that weird, whatever. You're able to distribute the power evenly throughout its entire battery life. And yeah, man, it's just, it just feels more powerful. Also check out these blades, they're nice and thin. So yeah, it's a little bit louder, but the trade-off is good. It's totally worth it. You're gonna get much better battery life performance with this and good power. I mean, this thing just balds through haircuts. Let's turn on the 44 FMJ. 
This one is quiet. Okay, it's really quiet. Honestly, all of these could use a little bit of oil right now. I should have oiled it for this review, but I'm gonna kinda do this review raw right now. Raw and uncut. This is the 50 cal. 50 cal is nice and quiet. Now, if you're watching this video with headphones on or maybe on your computer screen with the speaker all the way loud, you know, I might even sound loud in your ear. So take that into consideration because it's hard to translate, you know, the sound of this going to my phone then going to your ears, all right? But yeah, overall, it's, it's not the quietest, but it's not super loud either. It is a little bit louder, but you get amazing battery life and the power distribution throughout its battery life is premium. I love it. Okay. It's the best. All right. So that's pretty much it for this machine right here. It does perform very good. I am incredibly happy with it. This is my go-to clipper. It is all I've been using. Previously, it was the 44 Magnum FMJ. But ever since I got the, uh, the nine millimeter, this has been my favorite clipper overall. And, and again, I, I want to do illustrate that just because the RPMs are a lower number than I, I think these have like a 9,000 RPM. I, I really don't think that translates to more power. I just think that it's spinning the, it's making the, the blades, you know, move faster, but I don't think it's moving them more powerfully, if you can get what I'm saying, like bulk cutting probably, you know? These do perform very good. I am very impressed with these. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. If my review helped you at all, hit the like button. It really does help me a lot. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. I do pretty cool designs and stuff all the time. And uh, I'll be playing video games on this channel every now and then. Also check out the review for the 22 Stinger that I did. This is my favorite go-to trimmer. Um, th the blades are very similar. They're like a hybrid of Andy's outliners, but also wall detailers. Like the, like the fitting here in the bottom is like a wall detailer but the blades on top and their thinness, they cut like an outliner. And I, outliners used to be my favorite. So yeah, this is, this also has a magnetic motor and uh, it has a two hour battery life. It's not, you know, four hours, but the performance and just the baldness and the smoothness that you get out of this is top notch. So that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I'm out of here, peace.